Okay, I want to talk about something a little bit different today. It's going to be more of a character. I had this discussion with someone already, and I thought I'd put it onto, you know, podcast forum so you guys can all hear it. It's, it's D talking to you guys about this. What I want to talk about is it's going to be pre-52 DC. It's going to be Cassandra Kane being the Batgirl as opposed to Barbara Gordon being Batgirl. I remember when that first happened, when Cassandra first became Batgirl, that a lot of people were not happy about that. A lot of people didn't want to see Cassandra as Batgirl. They still wanted to see Barbara Gordon as Batgirl, even though Helena was Batgirl for at least a year before Cassandra stepped in in No Man's Land. Yeah, Helena was Batgirl in No Man's Land for a while, so people are already used to not seeing Barbara as Batgirl already. But there was so much backlash, and it reminds me a lot of the whole Miles Morales being Spider-Man. It reminds me a lot like the same way people felt about Miles Morales being a new Spider-Man. It was the same thing about Cassandra Kane, like a mute, non non-speaking, non-writing girl being being a new Batgirl when everyone just wanted their lovable redhead to be Batgirl again. So I was also one of those few who was not accepting of Cassandra Cain being Batgirl, but I read No Man's Land and I saw Helena as Batgirl and she wasn't bad. She wasn't very good at all. She had so much malice and anger inside of her. She just wanted to kill people all the time. And then Cassandra stepped in and took up the mantle and became Batgirl and Barbara gave her the mantle of being Batgirl. She thought that she was worthy of it. Even though Cain was a psychopath, vigilant, uh, vigilant, fucking crazy bad guy. But he did help train the Batman. He also trained his daughter how to fight as well. Cassandra actually beat Kane. She fought Kane and she actually defeated him. And like that enough should have told like everyone out there that she is good enough to be Batgirl. She fought Batman and almost beat him as well. It's just... I don't get why there was so much backlash about about Cassandra being the Batgirl. Because I think Cassandra made a great Batgirl. Here's the other thing, though. Stephanie came in, and everyone just loved Stephanie. Everyone loved the blonde, beautiful Stephanie Brown as Batgirl. And don't get me wrong. Stephanie was a lovable Batgirl. But that's only because she was very relatable to, like, your life in a way most Americans live their lives every day who wants to be a fucking superhero. Because Cassandra was a shitty spoiler. As spoiler, she was freaking terrible. And as Robin, she didn't last long at all because fans couldn't stand it. But when she became Batgirl, it was it was different than Cassandra. It was also different than Helena because you had a, a Batgirl who wasn't a mute, who wasn't raised to fight by a crazy guy. You already knew kind of who she was. And she became the Batgirl person. You can probably live a life through her shoes and see how it was to be her. Kind of how Barbara was. She was a good replacement for Barbara. But I still say Cassandra was a good Batgirl also. I thought Cassandra was a great Batgirl. How do you guys feel about that? Like, let me know, because I like talking about comics. I just, comics, 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 man. I get very passionate about that shit. So if you guys want to talk about it, leave some comments, hit me up on the Facebook or Google+, Plus, whatever you guys see me on, just talk to me about it. I always, I will always reply to anything you guys comment to me. Take it easy. And I forgot to say this also. I'm sorry I had to put this in at the last moment, but Cassandra also changed the way everyone saw Robin forever. Once Cassandra snapped or got mind swapped and got brainwashed and whatnot and joined the League of Assassins, once that happened and she pretty much mocked the way Batman saw Robin, that Robin was just a bullseye for the bad guys, a way for someone to walk in who knew how to fight, mind you, but they were just a target for the bad guys to shoot at or to hit at while Batman went around, took out the bad guys before they can do anything too bad. And that changed the way everyone saw Robin. Every writer saw Robin differently after she confronted Dick Grayson, not Dick Grayson, Tim Drake, about the costume he wore. That, to me, was one of the greatest things about Cassandra Kane. That they wrote that into the story that everyone sees Robin as a giant bullseye because of the bright color costume he wears. 
it was, it was just beautiful to me. Absolutely beautiful. So, again, you guys want to talk about anything about this character or anything else you guys want me to say or talk about? Or if you guys want to do a little one-on-one with me sometimes, hit me up. I'm more than happy to talk to you about it. Take it easy.